one ship, appearing as an entire fleet? China claims it has developed a breakthrough radar deception system that can flood enemy sensors with ghost signals, making a single vessel look like a full armada. In this video, we'll reveal how this ghost fleet tech works, why it's a game changer in electronic strategy, and what it could mean for the future of naval power. What if you could manipulate radar to show what isn't there? That's exactly what Chinese researchers claim to have achieved with their new Ghost Fleet radar decoy system. It's not about hiding anymore. It's about flooding sensors with digital illusions. At the center of this system is a simple but effective approach to shaping what enemy radars perceive. Rather than relying on expensive stealth materials or cloaking devices, the Ghost Fleet works by sculpting the electromagnetic environment in real time. This tech comes from the Beijing Research Institute of Telemetry, a major hub for China's advanced military and aerospace systems. According to reports, the system uses four synchronized electronic jammers that emit carefully tuned radar signals. These signals mimic the radar return of multiple warships, causing sensors to register false contacts, what appear to be several ships, when in reality there's only one. What makes this even more fascinating is the use of minimalist 1-bit signal processors. Unlike complex chips that process high-resolution waveforms, these chips only detect whether a radar wave crosses a specific voltage threshold. If it does, the chip reacts. That's it. It sounds basic, but this design allows for ultra-fast response and easy real-time adjustment. This simplicity keeps costs low and adaptability high a combination not often seen in military-grade deception systems. Algorithms inside the chip let the decoys dynamically shift their signal patterns. So the fake radar echoes don't just stand still, they move, mimicking fleet maneuvers. In digital simulations, radar-guided anti-ship missiles have reportedly locked onto these phantom targets, completely ignoring the real vessel. That's a massive advantage. No need to outrun the threat if the threat doesn't know where you are. Researchers call this electromagnetic environment sculpting. It's a tactical way of reshaping the radar landscape to gain the upper hand without direct engagement. Instead of overwhelming the enemy with firepower, it overwhelms them with false information. In today's high-tech naval landscape, targeting systems are built on the assumption that what you see is real. The ghost fleet challenges that belief entirely. By generating radar illusions, it turns battlefield perception into a puzzle and confusion into control. Instead of focusing on firepower or speed, this technology shifts the advantage to those who can control what the enemy thinks they're seeing. Imagine a hostile force detecting what appears to be an approaching fleet. In truth, it's one vessel using the ghost fleet system to generate coordinated decoy signals. The enemy now has a problem. Every second spent analyzing or reacting to this illusion is a second of lost clarity. The real ship can maneuver freely while attention is locked elsewhere. But this isn't just about distraction, it's about tactical waste. Every missile fired at a false target is a resource gone. Every drone sent to track a ghost contact is fuel and time spent on a decoy. And if a Navy takes action based on flawed data, its entire operational picture becomes compromised. Ghost fleet technology, in effect, forces the opposition into making poor decisions, not because they're careless, but because the data is wrong from the start. What's clever here is how China approached the problem from the bottom up. Instead of trying to mask a ship's presence, like stealth ships or jammers typically do, the system actively projects believable, alternative signatures. These aren't just blips, they simulate ship movement, formation patterns, and even radar reflectivity variations. It's like painting a fleet on the canvas of the sea, but with electronic brushstrokes. Strategically, this technology fits within a broader shift towards smart and flexible defense systems. It's designed to be inexpensive, scalable, and adaptable. Older decoy systems often involved bulky installations or expensive signal replicators. This one relies on light, software-driven emitters that can potentially be installed on many different vessels. That means even a modest navy could field illusions on a massive scale. China's media has described the system as offering an absolute advantage in electronic operations. Whether that proves true in practice remains to be seen, 
but the theory is compelling. In a future where information may be more valuable than firepower, the side with better illusions might just come out on top. For all its promise, the Ghost Fleet system is still a work in progress. The biggest point to remember is that the impressive results so far have come from simulations, not from live military exercises or combat conditions. Simulated environments allow engineers to control every variable, from sea clutter to radar angles. But the real world isn't so neat. One major limitation is rooted in the system's most unique feature, the one-bit processor. While it enables speed and low power use, its binary response mechanism makes it vulnerable to more sophisticated systems. For instance, modern networked missile guidance systems can cross-reference data from multiple sensors. If one radar sees five ships and another sees one, that discrepancy could expose the deception. In other words, a coordinated enemy could catch the ghost fleet in the act. Then there's the challenge of radar clutter. Open seas, bad weather, and multiple wave reflections can all distort signal fidelity. While this new system is reportedly adaptive, it's unclear how well it holds up in rapidly changing environments. Precision signal control is hard enough under test conditions. It gets exponentially more complex during real-time naval maneuvers. To strengthen the platform, the research team plans to integrate artificial intelligence. AI would allow the system to make smarter, faster decisions about how and when to generate decoy signals. It could assess radar input in real time, adjust its output dynamically, and even learn to anticipate countermeasures. This evolution is critical if the system is to survive in contested, data-rich environments. Live testing will be the real benchmark. Only after trials involving actual radar systems, missile simulators, and hostile interference can the Ghost Fleet's performance be fairly judged. These tests will likely occur aboard China's larger vessels first, where there's space to house the system and monitor results closely. Despite these challenges, the Ghost Fleet represents a real innovation in the way maritime presence is projected. Instead of relying on size or speed, it relies on deception and perception. It's a different kind of strength, one that reflects the increasingly digital nature of modern operations. The Ghost Fleet isn't just a tech demo. It's a signal that the future of naval power may be shaped by perception, not presence. By making one ship look like many, China is rewriting how advantage is gained at sea through data, deception, and control of the radar picture. While it's still in the testing phase, its potential impact is enormous. If fully realized, this technology could change how navies think, move, and react. The age of electronic illusion has arrived, and in a world where seeing is believing, what happens when what you see isn't real at all? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.